Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yadi and I make educational videos for beauty professionals in training and for those of you that like to continue learning. You guys, I am taking you inside of the treatment room with me, this time to show you a full protocol using SkinScript RX. So make sure that you stay until the very end to see the end results. Here is a quick view at today's protocol. So you guys, we are not going to waste any time and we're starting off using our very first cleanse which is the green tea citrus cleanser by the way one of my favorites it is a foamy gentle cleansing option for environmentally challenged skin it works well to remove makeup and protects the skin from cellular damage while improving clarity and tone by the way, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel, and let me know in the comments your thoughts on these type of videos. Now that I removed our first cleanse, we are now ready for our second cleanse and we are using the pomegranate antioxidant cleanser. You guys, I love how this cleanser feels. It is an absolute must in the treatment room. It is a moderately rich cream based cleansing option that is infused with a wide array of antioxidants, nutritional elements and oils to restore and protect the skin. Time to dry her skin completely before moving on to our mechanical exfoliation using the Diamond Microdermabrasion Machine. I have incorporated a picture to give you guys a better visual of the mapping passes that can be performed on the client's face. I hope this helps since I will also be incorporating an enzyme peel in this treatment. I will only be going once around her face. Holding the skin taut while going across the skin is very important. I want you guys to pay attention to my hand mobility and notice how I'm not moving aggressively around the client's skin. You have to be very careful. Remember that this is a suction machine as well and you do not want to have this up too high. It's important that you're also always checking on the client's comfort. And by the way, some clients do experience some peeling and some dryness after the treatment. So make sure that you are letting them know before they uh, leave, before you end the treatment. Therefore, they know what to expect and that only means their skin needs extra, extra moisturizer.
time to do the other side and no i was not moving this fast in real life i'm just making sure that you guys get a different angle but you get the point Time to apply our enzyme and this time we are using the swiss pine enzyme it's highlighted by swiss pine and french oak which calms sensitive and irritated skin gently digest the dead surface cells to smooth and soften the skin reduce heat rash address dark spots and manage breakouts its tingle factor it's between zero to two meaning it's not that bad it's going to help calm the skin soften the skin and address pigmentation skin types normal sensitive irritated skin caused by cold wind heat sun or an impaired skin barrier enzymes are usually left on the skin for anywhere between five to seven minutes and after having it on the skin for a few minutes i usually like to add and incorporate the use of cold globes often used in facials it can have several benefits for the skin they may help constrict blood vessels reduce inflammation and promote circulation additionally cold globes can soothe and refresh in the skin potentially reducing puffiness and providing a calming effect. So if you haven't used cold globes during an enzyme, while the enzyme sits on the client's skin, I highly recommend you try it. It feels absolutely amazing. time for a relaxing massage and if you're wondering why give a massage during a facial service well it's going to improve circulation massage promotes blood flow you guys enhancing oxygen and nutrient delivery to facial tissues relaxation of facial muscles it's going to help release tension reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles okay also lymphatic drainage facial massages can assist in draining excess fluids reducing puffiness and promoting a more sculpted look and we all love that okay again stress reduction it induces relaxation potentially lowering stress levels and contributing to an overall well-being it's going to also help with product absorption. Massage aids in better absorption of skincare products, maximizing their benefits. And at the end, we're also giving the skin a natural glow. Of course, not all facial treatments are going to include facial massages. For example, if someone is coming in for an acne treatment facial, obviously massaging the skin, massaging the face is not an option. It's a, not a contraindication. And this is an example of why communicating with the client and performing an accurate skin analysis is extremely important so that you're able to give all of your clients the perfect customizable skin treatment the day that they come in.
time to apply our mask and we are going to be using the white birch mask you guys this mask is anti-inflammatory improves barrier function it is also hydrating it's great for all skin types especially made for reactive irritated or sensitized skin We leave the mask on for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes depending on the type of mask. Once the mask has set, we are going to be removing using sponges, then followed by a warm towel. You guys remember, remember what I always say, be very thorough with your mask removal. This is the last towel that we are going to be incorporating, so it is extremely important that we get everything off the skin because everything else is going to stay on. A fan favorite, we're using the Cucumber Hydration Toner. Rehydrates the skin while improving cellular function and absorption of ingredients. The cucumber soothes and cools irritated skin, reduces discomfort and irritation, balances surface lipids, assists in boosting hydration levels, provides probiotic support to the skin's acid mantle to support acneic skin. It's great for all skin types. Can it get any better? Yes, it can. We are now applying the Beta Carotene Papain Renewal Serum. It is a perfect mild exfoliation. Papain digests dead skin cells revealing softer, smoother skin. All of them and Allantoin restore and normalize the skin to improve barrier function for the even most sensitive skin. It has many, many great benefits, you guys, and it is perfect for all skin types. Now don't leave me just yet. Next up, Cactine Balancing Moisturizer. It's going to balance surface lipids and water with the healing properties of prickly pear cactus and humectants like sodium PCA. Be sound below, soothes irritated and sensitized skin. Normalizes water, oil balance, soothes and calms. And it is perfect for normal combination skin and sensitive. And finally, that's right, you guessed it. We cannot let our client model leave without the use of SPF. We just exfoliated her skin. We gave her this amazing, amazing facial treatment. And we are ending it off using SPF 30 to top it off. That's right, yes, the skin is looking amazing, amazing, amazing. And you guys, just a quick tip, if you do have clients that wear lash extensions at the end of treatment, all I can recommend is grab yourself a spoolie and just brush through their lashes. Make sure that you didn't accidentally apply any product to their lash extensions and just give them that fluff back and that concludes this treatment what did you guys think let me know in the comments down below if you like these type of videos what do you want to see next thank you so much for watching and listening if you are new happy to have you here please consider subscribing you guys don't forget to share with a friend give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what are your thoughts girl what are you thinking what are you doing what are you up to are you an sd student are you a licensed professional already anyways you guys thank you so much for your continued support hey let's keep going let's keep growing and i'll see you on the next one